There is a minimal set of steps required to get the Einstein Analytics data catalog installed and running on your org. Instructions can be found in the Einstein Analytics data catalog QIP document. The Einstein Analytics data catalog may be accessed via the tab or a standalone app. Otherwise, functionality and usage is identical. To access the tab, open the app launcher and select Einstein Analytics Data Catalog. Instructions to access the standalone app can be found in the Einstein Analytics Data Catalog QIP document. The goal of the Einstein Analytics Data Catalog is to let you explore your analytics assets. You can see your apps, dashboards, data sets, lenses, and stories. The Einstein Analytics Data Catalog includes a tree on the left for accessing various analytic assets, the catalog view in the center, and a collapsible inspector on the right. To demonstrate many of the key features, let's expand the dataset node. We will select a dataset to add. The dataset node is shown, along with the parent app, aka the folder. Press the Show Inspector button on the far right to open the inspector panel, which has three tabs, children, the children of the asset, attributes, the attributes of the asset, useful for exploring the details, and node, the attributes of the node, mostly useful for dev and debug. Note that these tabs will be empty if no node has been selected. Select the children tab and select the checkbox next to one of the fields. The field lineage will be displayed. You may add additional fields, but note that removing fields is not currently supported. To see where the dataset is used, press the Show Dependencies button on the far right. The Einstein Analytics dashboards and Einstein Discovery Stories that use the dataset are shown. Note that in this example, it becomes clear that the dataset is referenced by dashboards in another app. This can be useful for finding dependencies and references. Most Einstein Analytic asset types are supported, including recipes and connectors. The default layout is hierarchical left to right. Try setting the layout to right to left, up to down, and down to up. The non-hierarchical layouts use physics and various schemes to determine node position, edge line curve, and so on. Feel free to try these, but note that you may encounter an error if you switch back to hierarchical. The enable disable physics button toggles the physics model on or off. The fit button will fit all the nodes into the view.